Hi everyone, welcome to the coding channel. Today is the 22nd episode of our Java programming tutorial series. And in this episode, we are going to talk about 2D arrays in Java. This and more when we come back. We've learned from our previous episode that we have uh, two types of uh, arrays in Java. The first one is one-dimensional that we already have um, talked about in our previous episode. And today, we are going to talk about in the uh, multi-dimensional array or two-dimensional arrays in Java. So basically, when we say two-dimensional array, it's an array of arrays. Meaning if you have um, one-dimensional arrays having the same uh, data type, we can actually combine it in, uh, in one uh, two-dimensional arrays. Now, how are we going to declare a two-dimensional array in Java? Okay, in line number 10 to 13, these are all a valid syntax in declaring uh, and instantiating an array in Java. It's like having a, um, a matrix, uh, three by three, for example, with uh, three rows and uh, three um, columns. So when Java executes this um, statement, this declaration and instantiation. Somewhere in memory, we already have numbers uh, 0, 0 as our first element up to numbers 2, 2 as our uh, last um, element. So it's like having a, a table like this when we declare 3 by 3. Okay. And then when we uh, traverse the um, two dimensional array, we uh, normally start from the first row, first column, followed by the first row, second column. And the uh, third, first row, third column. Take note of the um, uh, indexes. We have 0, 0, 0, 1, and then 0, 2. Then after that, uh, the next step is to uh, either um, initialize or assign values to rows, uh, to the second row, first column, uh, second row, second column, until the last um, row and last column okay now how are we going to initialize array element just like a one dimensional array uh, we can uh, actually manually um, initialize it uh, for example we want to um, initialize it by one three five these are um, add numbers so we put one three five in the uh, first uh, row for example this one is for the second row and another for the third row just like one dimensional array, we can also uh, loop through an array using a for uh, loop. But this time, uh, if you want to um, assign a values to it, to initialize a values in our two dimensional array, we use nested for loop. Okay, now to, for you to better understand it, I just let me um, trace the uh, example uh, that we have uh, here. Okay, so we have a nested for loop here, row zero, rows less than or uh, less than three. Or we can also uh, use, for example, um, if we have uh, declared um, a variables there, or uh, if you want to use the um, the length of an array, for example. Okay, you can um, actually uh, use that. But um, okay, let's try to trace this one now first. Okay, when we, uh, for example, we are now in the uh, the value of rows is zero. And then is zero less than three true? So that means to say we need we uh we we will execute the first uh, the second or the out inner for loop, okay? And then uh, calls equals zero again here, and then is calls less than a three for example true. So we are going to assign this to the first um element which is numbers zero zero based in. Uh, the uh, values on here. If we're going to substitute a zero zero as the values of rows and columns, so uh, we are going to assign now uh, values here. So zero this time is uh, I mean calls this time the value is zero times two is zero plus one. So the uh, final uh, initial value in our first um, uh, element is one, and then after that calls plus plus. So this will become now uh, one. And then it calls less than three, so true. So for example, uh, one times two is two plus one, three. So we have now three in zero, zero, one, zero, one. 
this is something like that and then plus plus this will become now 2 is 2 less than 3 true so this time we're talking uh, calls 2 2 times 2 4 plus 1 5 okay and then calls plus plus so uh, this will become a 3 is 3 less than is 3 less than 3 of course uh, false already so it's about time to go up rows plus plus rows will, will become 1 okay and then it's about time again to uh, work on the second row because this time the value of rows is 1 so 1 as 0 for example 1 1 1 2 1 3 things like that so it's like having the values 1 3 and then 5 if we're going to um, uh, finish this 1 and then 3 and then 5 so that's how it uh, works and that's how we assign values to uh, array elements now if we uh, now know how to declare, how to instantiate, how to initialize, how about if you're going to print out or access the uh, values in our two-dimensional arrays? Okay, just like one-dimensional array, we can just um, uh, print out using system.out.print or print ln, for example, and just specify the um, index number of our array from 0, 0 to 1, 1. Okay? And at the same time, we can use the nested for loop. If you want to access all the array elements, if you want to print out, we just having this uh, code, a nested for loop, uh, for example. That's how uh, it's uh, easy to, um, in to access the uh, array elements. Now, let me show you the uh, example of our um, two-dimensional um, array. For instance, we have here a declaration of an array with the size uh, row size is 5 and then a 3. So meaning we have 5 rows and uh, 3 columns. So this is an example of an initialization again. And this one is the declaration and instantiation. So we can uh, use this one. The advantage of this is that every time, since we use the variables here, so we can uh, just resize the, um, the size, the row size and the column size of our um, array okay now so to initialize for example uh, we want to um, um, initialize the values uh, by having uh, this um, assignment statement okay so what I did in here is just is that um, I'm just trying to uh, assign the uh, add numbers okay add numbers starting from one okay in I have here rows plus one which means that um, the um, we we choose this, we assign this uh, values. Uh, if we are on the first row, okay. If the case is two, meaning we are in the second row. So uh, we have um, another um, set of expressions there, and then um, this one is an example of uh, values within um, uh, row three, and then from row four. Uh, to five, for example, so we will um, execute the uh, default um, uh, statements. Okay, and then just to print out all the values of to the uh, array, we just uh, need the, the uh, nested arrays, and then as simple as this, by just specifying the rows and columns there, and then simple output. Okay, so let us run this sample code. Okay, so here, here we go. This is now the example output of our um, program using two-dimensional array, having the five rows and three um, columns. Okay, now another example of um, declaration and in instantiation with initialization in two-dimensional array is uh, by having this uh, syntax. Just like, again, one-dimensional array, we can uh, declare an array with uh, values all in one line. So we use this type of syntax if um, before the program execution, we know already the values of our array um, element. So uh, we call this as initializer list. And then these uh, groupings now, uh, these are arrays, one dimensional arrays we put in an array. That's why we call it again, array of arrays. Okay, so uh, by having this a type of syntax, uh, we mean that uh, we have three rows 
and three columns with values on each row. This one, these are the values for the first row, for the second row, and for the third row. Okay, now if we are going to determine the index number of this uh, one, so this is uh, still uh, the row 1, uh, 0, 0, uh, 0, 1, 0, 2, for example. Uh, so it's like having here 1, 3, 5. So the 1, 3, 5, 1, 3, 5. The 7, 9, 11 is already in the second row. Okay, 7, 9, 11. And then this one, 13, 15, 17, is in the row 3. As simple as that. Okay. And the uh, same also if you want to uh, access or print out the uh, elements of two uh, dimension array in Java individually, you can just um, uh, use this type of uh, syntax. Or we can uh, access it again by using the uh, nested for loop. Now let me show you the sample uh, program of uh, using this type of syntax. So I have here uh, the uh, numbers again, uh, two dimensional arrays having uh, values on two, four, six, for example. So uh, if we uh, have this uh, type of initializer list, um, how many rows do we have now? So one, two, three, four, five, and six. We have six rows and three columns. Okay, and then if you want to uh, display, so this is the example of an initialization, a declaration and initialization of our two-dimensional array. So if you want to display the output of the of this um, array elements, okay, we can use the again the nested for loop, just like this. If you want to run this one, we get this um, output now. Okay, that's so that's how uh, simple it is to declare, to initialize, to access array elements um, using for loop. And these are the source code for this episode. And that's all for today. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And as always, show your love through comments and favorites. God bless and thank you for watching.